In today's video, we're training upper body. What? Let me check my calculations. If you don't train something, like <laughs> you lose the strength. I don't know how people, when they lift in the gym, like they don't make faces. I miss training upper body. I'm a big, what are the words? Big step up. Yeah. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I can't talk loud because apparently the audio keeps going. Because I talk too loud. Anyways, guys, hi, hello. Welcome back to another episode of the Off Season Files. In today's video, we're training upper body. What? Who is she? So if you guys are new here, I'm a wellness competitor and my coach took my upper body training out because I can't have my upper body get too big for the division, so I replace it with yoga. But you guys requested an upper body workout. Cause obviously like I trained upper body for years in order to get it to where it is now. Don't look at it now, it's not pumped. Okay. So I am doing this for you. Don't tell my coach that we're training upper body. He wouldn't even get mad anyway. So I'm going to take you through if I was training upper body, what would I do? It's mainly going to be shoulders. We're going to demolish our shoulders and we're just going to touch a little bit of back and biceps and that's literally it so first i'm gonna start with the warm-up i got a weenie band i always ask the front desk if i can get a weenie band which is a like really light one so that we can do a little warm-up skis <laughs> this feels so good i need to do this more often ow that one hurt So when I'm doing this warm up, I'm trying to warm up the muscles, but I'm not trying to overly pump them and exhaust them because that's what we're going to do with the actual weights. So I'm trying to hit a little bit of each. So we just did some pulls to target rear delts. And then I want to hit here, here. So lateral raises, front raises. I do miss training upper body sometimes. Oh, I'm already getting a little bit of a pump, so I'm gonna slow down. A little bit of back, so I'm acting as if this is kind of like a row. Oh, I was gonna say something. Oh, so we're actually going to be using one of the workout programs, a new workout program that I created for the uh, Know Your Power Girls, my one-on-one um, -on -one coaching clients. So I have made this, tested it out, I've used it myself, and I just finished the program like last week and gave it to the girls and they absolutely hated me. So we're gonna do it. And I haven't been training upper body for the past month or so. I don't really know where my strength is at. So today we're really gonna be testing that and finding it out together. So we're gonna start with the shoulder press. If you wanna switch it, I'm just gonna do a machine. If you wanna swap it for like a dumbbell shoulder press or a barbell or Smith machine, you could definitely do that too. So I'm gonna just do two warm up sets of about 12 reps, really lightweight, and then we'll go into our working sets. Uh. All right, man, I'm a weenie hot junior. It already ha hurts. Y'all about to see my shoulders blow up. When I was building my shoulders, uh, there was one time where I, I shoulder pressed 70 pound dumbbells. It was only a couple reps, but I did it. All right, I'm gonna increase the weight a little bit 
for this warm up set because I still really don't know what my heaviest can be. It's not a lot of weight. Bro, that's sad. Okay, that really wasn't a warm up set. That was like almost a working set, but I'm not gonna count it. Okay, so now we're going to actually move to three working sets of eight to 10 reps. I have mocos. And these are gonna be heavy. Like we wanna be hitting like almost failure anywhere between that eight and 10 reps. So we're gonna see what we can do and then we're gonna do a nasty drop set after that. I mean, let's try 90. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Six. That's exactly what you want your last rep to look like for these rest. At least a minute and a half. the full time. Okay, one more. And then we're gonna go into a drop set, probably cutting the weight at least by 50% and then do 12 to 15 more. So that's immediately after the next set. Last set, best set. Eight to 10 reps, then dropped 12 to 15. Okay, that one I can only get six. But it was still failure. Drop the weight it, by 50%, 12 to 15 more. <laughs> Don't try this at home. Okay, we're done with that. Let me check my calculations. Okay, we're gonna be doing a super set of dumbbell lateral raises and plate front raises. Uh, with the plate front raises, I'm just gonna keep it at 25 pounds. You can also swap it for a dumbbell front raise. If you wanna do that, you can also swap it for a cable front weight raise and use a rope. Um, we're just, go we're doing four sets, super setting 10 to 12 reps. Drop the weight, pick up the plate. I'm gonna hold it like this down here and we wanna go kind of a almost eye level. That was worse than that one. Okay, rest. When I'm doing a super set, I typically like to rest anywhere from like a minute and a half, probably a minute and a half, because you're doing two workouts back to back, so you need a little bit longer of a rest to recover. With like my compound movements, sometimes I can rest up to two minutes so that when I come back, I'm actually ready to lift heavy again. And then for just regular degular stuff, a minute. 
It's usually good. I wish they had 17.5 pounds because I feel like I could do that with lateral raises and stay within my rep range. But if I move to 20s, I don't think I can make it. So a couple things that I think about when I'm doing lateral raises, I like to start like right here, almost as, as if they're in my pocket. And it's super easy, and I, I did this a lot when I first started, to swing the weight and like bring your traps into it. And then, that's why. The reason my traps are so big is from doing lateral races wrong and bringing my traps into it. So now before I start, I bring them down, make sure my shoulders are down, and then lead with my elbows. All right, set number three. Right here, in the pocket, shoulders down. Lead with your elbows. I don't know, usually, I have pretty strong fronts, but this is just like, if you don't train something, like, <laughs> I, I uh, you lose the strength. Like I still, I still have the muscle development that I built, but strength wise, like, my muscles are like, what are you doing? All right, I need to get probably three different weights. Okay, so this next one is the worst. Shoulder Samurai. One set is 30 reps. So the first 10 are gonna be, what are we doing first? First 10 are gonna be around the world. So I'm gonna start with my palms out and we're going all the way around. Try to avoid doing that, 10 of those. Then we're gonna pick up 15s, and these are gonna be shorter range lateral raises. They're almost mimicking a lateral raise that you would do on a machine. So we're gonna start right here, and it's gonna be a really small range of motion. Shoulders down, making sure we're not going like this. Shouldn't have done those extra reps. And then I'm gonna pick up the 10s again, and we're gonna do rear delt flies. That's one set, we're doing four of those. I don't know how people, when they lift in the gym, like they don't make faces. Like I look so ugly. And there's some people that like, they lift heavy and they're training hard, but they're just like, like they look pretty. Okay, rear delt flies, bending over. All right, rest. At least a minute and a half. You guys do with the, no, they go like this. Wait. Okay, we're gonna hit, we did a lot. There's a lot, a lot of shoulders. A lot, a lot of shoulders. But I, we're gonna do one more to target our rear delt. Our, the rear delt is one of the most neglected parts. If you like just look at people in the gym, most people have an underdeveloped one. I, I do too, because we always focus on like the front and the cap because like that's what people see. And then you turn to the side and it's like flat. If you really wanna have a completely rounded shoulder, having a big rear delt completes the look. So we're gonna target it a little bit more. So I like to do mine on a cable and I like to set it to where it's like right level with my shoulder where I can just pull it back and squeeze. We're kind of mimicking 
what you would do on a rear delt machine. You could do a rear delt machine, but for me, I have a really hard time connecting with my rear delt. That's why it's underdeveloped. So this helps me slow down and focus. I think probably one more. We're gonna do, see this is even heavy for me and it's 20 pounds. We're gonna do 10 reps and see. So I'm grabbing my non-working hand and I'm holding it right here and I'm standing right in front of the pulley. Pulling it out, squeeze. See, even this is too heavy. This is better for the weenie hut juniors of the world, which is me. I'm gonna move on this side. Okay, this is a lot better. This, like I'm literally just doing this with 12 pounds, 10 reps. Oh my God, even that's heavy. What is going on? I'm just a weenie. Okay, seven pounds. All right. See, same setup. Nine. It's like my upper body muscles are just for show. There's no strength behind them anymore. Weenie Hut Junior, Weenie Hut Junior. <laughs> All right. Last thing, super set of back and buys. We're only doing two sets because that's what I would do. Okay, last super set. This is just two sets. If you want to add more, add more, but for me, when I was training upper body, this is all I would do. But back in the day, a lot more volume. We're gonna do 10 to 12 reps of each. I'm using the mag bar right now. Okay. Now, easy bar, bicep curls, or you could do dumbbell, or you could do cable, whatever. Same thing with this, you don't need to go. None of that, bring the weight to you, don't go with it. Holding this bag is so the worst. I'm just gonna drag it. I'm gonna walk it like a dog. <laughs> Come on, bag. Stay. All right, guys, that was. Yeah. Just gonna put my hands on my head. That was how upper body workout. I miss training upper body because, like, there's nothing. I mean, it's really in, obviously empowering to train in general but there's just something about an upper body pump that you just, it's just chef's kiss. So if you tried this workout, let me know down below. Um, the whole workout's gonna be in the description. It's also would also be a popped up on screen for you guys. And if you're interested in joining the Know Your Power program and getting more workouts like this customized to you and your goals, that link's in the description too. And as always, I love you all so much and you're more powerful than you think. Bye.